In this example, we want to show that the function that we have here, which is x plus 2x to the fifth power, all raised to the fourth power, is continuous at negative 1. So to remember to show to show a function is continuous at a point, we need to uh, make sure that the function evaluate that point is defined. Uh, make sure the limit of f as x approaches that point exists. And make sure that the limit of that function as x approaches that point is equal to the function defined at that point. Okay. All right. So let's first take the limit of this as x of this function as x approaches negative one. Okay. So using one of those operations for limits, we can rewrite this as the limit as x approaches negative 1 of x plus 2x to the fifth, all raised to the fourth power. Okay. And then from here, okay, using another operation for limit. Okay, we can split this up into two limits. So we have the limit as x approaches negative one of x, or at limit of yeah, limit of x as x approaches negative one, plus the limit of two x to the fifth as x approaches negative one. And all this is going to be raised to the fourth power. Okay. Okay, so from here we have the limit of x as x approaches negative 1. Okay, that's going to give us minus 1. And then from here uh, we have the limit of 2x to the fifth as x approaches negative 1. So that's going to give us uh, negative, so we have negative 1 to the fifth power, that's minus 1, and then times 2 is going to be negative 2. All that's going to be raised to the fourth power. So we have, uh, basically, we have minus 3 raised to the fourth power. And that's going to give us the value of 81. So now we have to check to make sure the function evaluate negative 1 is 84. Okay. So the function at negative 1, so we have negative 1 plus 2 times negative 1 to the fifth all raised to the fourth power. Okay, so this is going to give us, so we have minus 1 to the fifth, that's negative 1, so we have minus 1, minus 2 raised to the fourth power, so that is minus 3 to the fourth power, and that gives us 81. Okay, so, all right, so the function is defined at negative 1, the limit exists, and the limit of our function as x approaches negative 1 is equal to the function at that point, at negative 1. Okay? Okay, so therefore, okay, we can conclude, therefore, our function is continuous at negative 1.